Welcome back to Humankind with the Harapans in the medieval era. And we're just powering through some world wonders. I don't think we're going to get one more. I, th I think we got all them wonders that are there right now for us to get. Ah, they have finally arrived here. And they will watch over our Stonehenge. Ten territories pulled together into a single megalopolis. The next challenge is to come up with a suitably epic name. Where did we do that? Okay, we'll put a pa We'll put the outpost here. It doesn't really matter. We'll just absorb it anyway. That way, we have an outpost here. And this looks suspiciously like we can land there as well. Can you go there or will you die? I feel like you're gonna die if you do this. We'll have to keep an eye on them doing that. All right, we got an era star for aesthetics. All right, fine by me. Okay, so these deeds, conquer Cassiopeia. Well, we can't really do that anyway. Continental rise, Ptolemy, map each continent. It's fine. Your empire becomes one of the giants, astride the globe. And what will you do with this power? All right. Okay, next. Festival for more influence. Definitely want that. Man, I want to absorb this city so bad, but it's so expensive. <laughs> so expensive. I mean, this is cheaper, but it's still ugh, quite expensive. I'm wondering if, I, if I'm if i not better off making this a bigger city instead. Like, just move around a bunch of uh, things instead of destroying it. So, for example, if I detach this here... I give them room to get these two territories. I think that might be better. Okay, we're gonna detach this. Plump. Wow, that loses us a whole lot of food. And we're gonna attach this and attach this. Giving us another star for territory stuff. And these guys are just completely boinked in this because they have way too much people. There's going to be a whole lot of death. A whole lot of death. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. You go back. We don't like this. We don't want to lose you. You just sail along the coastline. That's fine. You can go there without dying. Yeah, city is gonna go down hard. Very hard. But it'll be fine, it'll be settled at some point. Let's see what we can find down here. Just a small little collection of islands. Which we will definitely attach. We'll do some more reattaching stuff here, like uh, this here. We'll take away this. 
but we're put in this and you guys get this just kind of move things around a little bit and you will get this southern thing as well not all that great but it'll be something oh no i thought that was 13 but it isn't all of this is kind of bad but this is the least worst bad over there all right lots of death coming up for us and a new wonder can be claimed an impressive achievement built at a time when scientific inquiry and growing faith marched hand in hand we could still get this which i thought would be nice to get Do I want this? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take it. Why wouldn't we? We'll take them all. Putting us ahead of the competition. So where do we build it though? These guys don't have a wonder yet. They get it. They get this wonder. Where do we put it for you? Right here? Oh, that, that's cool. Like, in between the little hills here. Everyone! Heave ho! We can do it. Such a strong civilization we're building here in humankind. And you guys, I think... We can recall you. Let's bring you back home. Let's bring you back home. Back to the main city. Back to the capital. You have done so well. You will be rewarded greatly. Oh, there's some more stuff to it. Hey, there's a thing that we can go get. Very good. There's some more land over here as well. I'm just enjoying building wonder after wonder. And I'm kind of regretting putting this here. <laughs> so far away from everything. We have to have a whole standing army there. Alright, so we can have festivals. Manuscript atelier. And another city cap. Let's see, what do we get? Crop rotation. Oh yeah, that's definitely for us. Colony model. Create a city with a small package of infrastructure already built. So these are pretty much the settlers from uh, from civilization. But, oh, the cog. The cog receives less damage for consecutive turns spent in deep water. Uh, all this good stuff. Let's go for crop rotation first because that's really where we are at. That's what we are about. A map of the heavens. The Empire's achievements in the sciences are already a matter of great pride. Now a bright, industrious woman hailing from the Empire's most renowned center of learning, Harappa, has presented you with an atlas of the heavens, dividing the stars into constellations. The wheeling nature, once the domain of the gods alone, now approaches human comprehension. How should it be used? Militarized? Vision? Nah. All go for education. We want more science at the cost of some gold. Well, that seems like a lot more gold than was promised. But okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna argue that. Stability generators of the of the land. I think we can upgrade our food supplies here. Honestly, we're gonna do all the infrastructure projects in the primary city for now. All of them, every single one. I want them all done. It's the capital, after all. We have found a wreck. 
very good. There's also more to explore here, so go explore. It's your job. Oh, some population loss, yeah, somewhere. But the people in Harappa are thriving. So much shallow water. I like that we built the lighthouse of Alexandria here. Because it really fits with everything. And you definitely need to exploit some stuff. Definitely need to build this. And we definitely need to build that. And we definitely need to build this somewhere here. Best one is there. Build there. You need a harbor too. Everyone gets a harbor. Oh, what can we exploit? What we haven't been exploiting? Up here. Definitely exploiting everything first. As I said, it's it's just insane how strong these luxury resources are. So where to best put you? Really no great option. Plus 28, 24, 20. 24. This one is the best yet. There's another 28 here. But that's a bit too far away from everything, so I think we'll put it here. Legolas, what do your elf eyes see? Bernard Star, that's cute. I don't know who Bernard is, but that's cute. So, you could not ascend immediately when you get the chance. Oh, there's so much more land here. Look at all this. Ah, you have arrived. You get to just sleep. You get to just Relax a little bit. The agrarian star has been unlocked. More cultures are going into what era? Which culture went where? Into the medieval era. Oh my. I think we're a little bit ahead of the curve here. Losing all that population. <laughs> Look at all this land here. So much land. I started a sentence earlier about how I enjoy that we built it here because this has all these little island uh, territories attached. I think that's cute. I, th I feel like there is something here, but we'll figure it out once we have ships that can go further than what is right now possible. Sodeji was the largest wood structure in the world for 1,200 years, more or less. That should impress anyone. Right. I agree. Definitely should impress everyone. So, we have built three out of four era wonders. And I think that's fantastic. Okay, boy. You go on Auto Explore again. I don't care how you do it. You just do it. Right, okay, so what do we do here? Minus 12 food, I can't have that. So we build... This here? Or there? Here? Or there? I don't really have another option. I think we'll build it here. I also quite like the cities. It's, it's cute. Very cute. We'll get to warfare eventually. 
But not while we're all on our own lonesome here. Why are you sitting around there? It might be one that we found. Sometimes in these events that you get, you find ships. Or units or whatever. So that's probably what happened there. All right, we're back in the the very big positive here. Do we have a city that's not for city growth? I don't think we ever set anything here. It's balanced. Tch, balanced. Excuse me. City growth. And you just saw this explode with food because we researched feudalism. You can go auto explore as well. Let's see what's next. A hamlet. Oh yeah, that's good. Food and production. That would be great because that would allow us to uh, properly take advantage of these river stone tile mixes without losing two things. And until then, we just build up stuff. Our garrison next to Stonehenge is being built, I believe. So these guys get a shelter. And we have reached the point where the turns take quite a bit of time to finish up. Let's see, we have a new Faith Tenant. We're at the third level. Uh, there's nothing with food here, so develop intellect, plus 20 science per alliance, nah. Minus 10% unit for industry cost, that's not bad. Influence on commons quarters, money for, uh, plus 15 industry for main plaza. No matter how far from the holy lands, deepen your understanding of others' creeds. Yeah, I think that, that fits us. We are a freedom-oriented thing. That's a good bonus, and I like the role-play uh, role aspect of it as well. Do we somewhere see how much faith we have anyway? Because this isn't faith in that sense. Ah, another era star unlocked, so we can leave this era and we can check who is already in that era. No one. We are leading the world. So we could be Dutch. Hodunose. 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 Oh my god, I'm butchering this. Let's see. Joseon. Ming. Mughals. The Ottomans. The Poles. The Spanish. The Edo Japanese. The Venetians. Or. As we will, we will transcend with the Harapans. Getting us 10% additional fame on anything. And on the next turn, we're going to see some new stuff that we can then try and build. What do you guys need? Nothing much, really. But I wanted to build some food stuff for you guys. Put this here and Geography, cartography, algebra, optics, astronomy. It's a time of discovery and exploration. But discoveries are not made solely by traders and adventurers. Those who explore with ships and caravans would go in circles without those who explore with pens and parchment. While the Harapans certainly had markets. They left few remains. Please show us what they might have done. I like this little pan over your city, how it changes, but it doesn't change all that much for the Harapans, it seems. We're just eternally stuck in the medieval age and how things are done. Okay, we have reached the early modern era, which is... <laughs> we are crazy ahead of the, of the rest of the game here. 
Now we can get new unclaimed wanderers. Let's see. 20 stability, production towards shared project. Oh, yes. For this city. Plus 100% production towards any shared project. Oh, wow. That's good. All the others are also good. I don't even care all that much. Machu Picchu would probably be really great. All of your cities gain 50% food equal of uh, the Machu Picchu city. So we're going to bombard Harappa with new... Uh, with new wonders. We can't really afford them. <laughs> but we will do that anyway. So, 75 turns. I think it's worthwhile. So where do we put it? Uh, let's see. Here? Yeah, that's not really a productive tile. Alright, let's get everyone involved. Hope this uh, makes it quick. Aye, aye, aye. I'm misclicking hard. It's not really quick in that sense, but it'll be worthwhile. Boosting shared projects like crazy. Turn pending. Right. Based on a true story, your achievements are many and your lands are beautiful. Since times of antiquity, your people have marveled at the place of great natural grandeur, Harapans. Within your lands, but few have heard the true and thrilling story behind the discovery. Until now, a popular playwright in the Harapans has adapted the event for the stage. A saga of exploration and high adventures, replete with dramatic embellishments and lavacious romance. The people are thrilled, and you hear it is not half bad. Perhaps you should grace this theatre with your presence and see for yourself. So we go and we get some science going and a narrative event, or we pass. I think we go. And learn something about Harappa. So the good thing about turns here, which is much better than in uh, other similar games, is that you can still do stuff while you turn. So that's really nice. You can look around the map. You can click on things. Uh, it's it's really lovely. I appreciate that a lot. What are you doing, science? Cogs are next, definitely. Do we have gunpowder anywhere? Yes, this was gunpowder. More onyx, and this is gunpowder. Perfect, we have two gunpowder, which is what you need to really build units. Usually you need two strategic resources to build based on that resource. We're just putting the whole empire on hold to build stuff. Oh, that's just fine. Oh, I'm looking forward to exploiting these. As feudal structures there we go. For both farming and warfare, certain codes and practices arise that ideally ensure a fair and honorable society. Ah. We can only build it once. That's a shame. But we'll build it here. Get this hamlet going. Plus one farmer slot, plus one worker slot, plus one trader slot, plus one research slot. That's not bad. That's not bad whatsoever. My dear friends, I tell you, that is good indeed. Oh god, these guys are very far away from everything, but we can bring them home safe. This is how I grow my armies in this game later on. It's just, you discover them over and over. <laughs> oh! Hey, you made it! Across the pond. So cool. Uh, researcher shouldn't be idle. I agree. So, draft tees. No, I want the cogs. I want that. Cogs! want sturdier ships that can explore further. That don't just bump around on my coastline all the time. Go out to explore. And straight back out from where I brought him back. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's fine. You guys are also still auto exploring, aren't you? Uh... 
Every city has someone sitting on it. All our cities are well guarded. This is well guarded. Do we have a garrison somewhere that is not? Yeah, there. You guys go here. You guard this garrison. Sounds like a good plan. Right, nothing much happening right now, but that's okay. I think we picked slow. We have 450 turn overall. We're really, 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 really ahead. So what do we get for gunpowder besides gunpowder? Nothing. Uh, we definitely need to exploit these here. T. The die. We need to do that, but I think we already have them in queue. Urgent affairs. I come bearing steam. An inventor engineer ostracized for her own country. On account of her religion has come to you offering her scientific expertise. She wishes to settle in the city of Harappa, where she believes she could work productively. Her pioneering work on the fundamentals of engines could be vital, but the fact that she is not a follower of Harappan polytheism could make things difficult. What do you say to her? Any innovator of any creed can become one of our citizens. Harappa is ready to welcome her. I think so. She's not a traitor. We, we Harappans, we are open to the world. So, what happens if I use this? I don't want to use this. I need the, we need the influence. We need to buy more, more world wonders. That's what we need to do. I kind of want to know what happens if we use it. Well, this city is about to lose someone anyway. So it's, true. it's not worth it doing anywhere. We, we are so hard over our population usually with the food that we produce. It's just not worth it. Okay, let's, let's attach these guys here. Do that. And then we do this. And we got some people. And now everyone is dying again because we don't have enough food. <laughs> oh god, the medieval era was just reached by someone. So this might be the difficulty that we're this far ahead. Might be the difficulty. But I don't mind. It's nice to show off the game mechanics without worrying about being destroyed. Or being in huge conflicts. Seafaring. Ah, to safely travel the dangerous, hungry oceans. You can cause trouble anywhere you want now. I have a better chance of getting away with it. Very good. I can't upgrade them because they're not in my area, so I need to bring them home. And we need to bring you home anyway because you're going to die elsewise. Ah, oh, they still might die. You guys like can upgrade? Have it ray. Ah, uh, so uh, receives bonus combat strength if attacking non-adjacent enemies. So if they have to travel one tile or more to attack, they are stronger. That's cool, like a cavalry charge. That's really, really cool. Okay, let's add them to one of the armies. Need to start thinking about uh, earning money somewhere. Oh, very cool. You don't need to turn on multi-selection. You can just multi-select like you would in any scenario of multi-selection by holding down CTRL. That's good. Where did I have another ship? Boys. Oh, sending them home. I don't think we have more ships currently. It's all the ships we have. All right. Let's pick a new thing to learn. Oh... The Caravel ignores penalties from, from uh, deep water. I really want this. Yep. 
yeah, we'll go with that. A three master chip. And we'll end it here for now. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy. If you do, leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, comment if you have to say anything. And until then, bye-bye.